Mary Monarch is here, and many are looking forward to the historic hula competitions, which start tomorrow. Many others are also there for the arts and crafts. That's right, and one woman is making sure that her art is on full display. KITV 4's Davey D spoke to a master native Hawaiian weaver on her journey to the Big Island. They have the weaving on the bottom, and then we do a design, and then we, we paint it, so it seals it. Yes. Ipolani Vaughn wears many hats. I'm a kumu ulelo, a kumu hula, and a kumu ulana. Translation, Vaughn teaches Hawaiian language hula and ulana, the art of weaving. Okay. Yeah, so you want to make sure that these <laughs> two points no, 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 are, right. are the same. Oh, a skill she uses to make the mini hat she wears. Her leaf of choice, lohala, or pandanus leaves, which she and her students painstakingly gather. Once they hooky the leaves, the real work begins. They learn how to process it, to hem with the thorns, hem with the midrib, make it into kuka, store it till they're ready to, to use it. It's more work to do the preparation than it is to make the item. <laughs> Today, Vaughn is one of the most sought out weavers, but 20 years ago, on a trip with friends to Kona. Unbeknownst to me, they signed me up for this uh, weaving conference. They put me in a uh, intermediate class and I knew nothing about Ulana. But Vaughn was a quick learner. I was so driven because when we had to stand up on the stage and show our piece, mine was this big and everybody else's was this big. And that's the last time I ever let that happen. <laughs> With decades of knowledge passed down from her kumu, Auntie Gladys Kukana on Thai Grace, Vaughn is now considered a master weaver. One of her creations is this lauhala and lolu or Hawaiian date palm covered ottoman. That ottoman is currently part of the Ola Kanoeo exhibit on display at the Bishop Museum. And once the exhibit wraps, it's already sold and I have orders for two more. <laughs> Vaughn's handcrafted items are in such high demand, she was granted a spot at the Mary Monarch Invitational Arts and Crafts Festival. I tried and I was accepted on the first try. <laughs> And it's easy to see why. She creates stunning pieces, and it seems everyone wants one. Some of her celebrity clients include Hawaiian singer and songwriter Kelly E. Reichel. He has four of my hat boxes. Manaula has one. Uh, Airy South has two. I'm in the midst of making one for Kalani Pea. Yeah, quite a few. <laughs> From hats to hat boxes, purses to papale, Kumu Ipolani Vaughn is weaving tradition and innovation together to create modern day masterpieces. Davy D, KITV4 Island News. Oh so gosh. beautiful. I want every single <laughs> thing that was shown in that story. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. And the Arts and Crafts Fair that Ipolani Vaughn will be selling her items at starts tomorrow again in Hilo and goes through Saturday. Yeah, it's a huge event that so many people look forward to. KITV4's Jeremy Lee joins us live from Hilo with more on that. Jeremy. And those of you who know Hilo know exactly where I am. I'm inside the Afukchinan Civic Auditorium where you could see there are hundreds down on the display for it. There are in all 150 vendors this year involved with the Arts and Crafts Fair. And as for this location right here, it extends all the way out that door. And you have vendors even outside, laymakers. I had a chance to mingle a little bit down on the floor and talk to some of the artisans, master craftspeople who have traveled from all over the islands to come here and show their wares. Some of them say this is the only opportunity that they have to put on a display and some of them have uh, completely uh, rejected social media altogether and rely on the Merry Monarch and coming here annually to show their wares. So it's really a, something of a community. I spoke to a, a paddle maker who told me he's gone on the, uh, the voyage, the Polynesian Voyage Society's voyage and other than that, that this is probably the next uh, uh, communal event that uh, one would say is just, just as big in many other ways. Lots of artisans here. They're going to be shutting the doors at 5 p.m. But again, on Saturday, you'll have the opportunity to stop by. We're live here in Hilo. Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News.